Assalamu alaikum my dear students I hope you will be fine and healthy and safe at home this is our lecture number 2 week 2 uh, of literary theory and criticism this lecture is focused on introduction or an introductory remarks about major school of literary theories in this lecture we are going to discuss the basic points in certain introductions of different literary theories available in terms of literary analysis and inter interpretation in the field of literature the reason to focus and reduce all the literary theories in this lecture is to make you able to differentiate between different theories and to understand what areas are similar and what areas are different when we approach different text for the purpose of analysis that is why before plunging into each and every theory in detail we must have at least certain basic ideas about different things and they will provide us a chance to compare and contrast different theories when we are studying them in detail. Uh, now, uh, before starting this, this lecture, uh, we must know what we have done in the previous lecture. So, as you remember, in previous lecture, we talk about criticism and theory we differentiate what is criticism and what is theory then we explore a little bit about literary theory we also define what is critic we discuss as well types of criticism and we elaborate different types of approaches which are capable of applying to criticize different type of literary text. We discuss and introduce a few basic points about practical criticism. Then we move to theoretical criticism and after that we cover descriptive criticism and along with these three we also talk about descriptive criticism. These four type of criticism were the basic available standards which were used by different critics before the introduction of literary theory in the field of literature. After that, we move towards different approaches which which were and which are applied in literary criticism we discuss how these four literary criticism approaches are similar and how are they different in their nature we also explore their application on different text and see how they are applied when we are trying to analyze any literary text. We talk about traditional approaches, we talk about historical approach, we also discussed 
fibrophical approach and after that we move to explore and explain moral and philosophical approach we also group these four approaches into into basic two due to their similar traits in terms of their application to a text like we believed in our lecture that historical and biographical approach both are similar in nature because in historical we look for the history and its impacts on the author in their works but similar thing can be applied when we were studying biographical approach because we are we are focusing on the life of the author and how it is affected by the time and age and different other movements and environmental conditions of their time. Then we have a moral and philosophical approach. Moral and moral mean when you are doing something for the betterment of society, you want to teach lesson to the people. But similar similar qualities can be found in philosophy because philosophy's basic tenets are to teach to show good and bad in the society. That is why historical and biographical approach they were grouped in one group and moral and philosophical in the second. Now when we are going for this lecture, what will be our objectives? After reading or listening this lecture, the student will be able to know different schools of literary things. Yes, whatever the schools, whatever the authors and different types of text energy approaches are available, so definitely this lecture will provide you to know different types of schools that are available in literary theory. You will be able to understand their ways of energy of literary text. And definitely these approaches they will help you to analyze a text according to their own length. It will also provide you a chance to figure out different facets of things, the different type of theories and the rest. Takes take meanings in different manners and how do they propose the meaning of those things. It will also point out different types of text and approaches available in literature because not all the texts available in literature are similar in nature or not most of the literary texts are different in nature. You will be able to know different and various authors of various theories and their works and their length in the field of literature. This lecture will also help you to check the author point of view towards the text. Though we people are not going in detail, but we are talking a way of analyzing a text and just for introduction, just for making your concept and your mind that how will we proceed in the future process to analyze the text, text? That is why this lecture is something to provide you a chance to understand different types of text and means in literature. And I am hopeful uh, that at least this lecture will give you something that will provide you a chance to to make you able to differentiate and analyze at least certain text in your study. One thing is very much important that when we will study things in detail so you will have to analyze different text practically in the source of your sound and you have to 
follow those.